Hello everyone, welcome. Let's talk about Creutzfeldt Jakob disease and Kuro. So the basic pathology that occurs in Creutzfeldt Jakob disease is conversion of a protein in the CNS or the brain which is called prion protein C, so PRPC, which is mainly an alpha helical structure to PR or prion protein SC, which is a beta pleated form. So this change might occur sporadically due to some mutation in the genome of that particular person leading to accumulation of the beta pleated sheet form which is PR PSC or prion protein SC. And this beta pleated sheet form actually causes a positive feedback loop. So it causes conversion of the alpha helix to beta pleated form more and more and more. So there is accumulation of more PRPSC and those PRPSC or the beta pleated sheets are actually uh, not easily degradable by proteases. So over time there is excess accumulation of the PRPSC in the brain which leads to some spongy form changes and these changes if they occur in areas which control the memory it leads to rapidly progressive dementia and this dementia is often irreversible and rapidly progressive means it, it develops weeks to months period so this is actually one of the most rapidly progressive dementia that's present and this is also typically associated with what something called startle myoclonus so there is brief jerky movement of the muscle and there can be ataxia and ultimately it will lead to death due to reversible damage of the brain so this is about the sporadic form. So this is the real Creutzfeldt Jakob disease. And there is something called Kuru, which is actually a version of Creutzfeldt Jakob disease. And this occurs in people in Papua New Guinea on some other paths where the people actually ingest the human brain. So if a person ingests the human brain that contains PRPSC, it would lead to a disease called Kuru, which is actually a version of Cruzfeld Jacob disease. So that's all from me today. Thanks all for watching my video.